comment, like, subscribe. The bell keeps you notified. It helps the show thrive. BJ Novak is a writer, director, and actor best known for portraying Ryan in the US office. CJ Perry is a model and professional wrestler known for her time in the WWE. And JJ Abrams is a director best known for directing multiple Star Wars and Star Trek movies. These three people all have a fair few things in common, I have to admit. They're all from the USA and they're all involved in the entertainment industry. However, the common trait between these three people I want to highlight has to do with with their names. Not only do they all use initials as their first names, the latter half of those initials all use the same letter, J. Of all the nicknames that we see formed from initials of two letters, J is undoubtedly the most commonly occurring. We see people use names such as the aforementioned BJ, CJ and JJ, but names like TJ, AJ and RJ are all known of too. So why did people start condensing their name into just initials, and why out of every letter in the alphabet has J become the most prominent? From looking through lists of recognisable people who are most commonly known by their initials, it seems that the first group of people to start doing this were writers. This includes the likes of J.R.R. Tolkien, P.L. Travers, J.M. Barry, W.H. Auden, and so on. As I'm sure you notice, many of those names do include the letter J. As to why writers decided to do this, there seems to be a variety of reasons. I read ideas ranging from writers using initials to sound more mysterious and authoritative, to many using initials to hide their identity, sometimes relating to gender. Authors using different names due to their gender is a whole thing I want to go into another time. For example, the K in JK Rowling's name is completely made up, and then we have the Bronte sisters who wrote under the names of Cara, Ellis and Acton Bell respectively. Though as I said, that can be a story for another time, as well as talking about pen names as a whole. What we need to know for now is that many authors decided that their pen names were going to simply be the initials of their first and middle name slash names, and then their actual last name. This is a trend we still see today with many modern authors still deciding to do this. Some authors even make up completely fictional names that follow this trend. In example, Fifty Shades author E.L. James is actually called Erica Mitchell, so not only is the L completely fictional, but her last name isn't even James. As time went on, this trend of authors using their initials spread out to other people naming themselves in this style too. It's worth highlighting that another occupation linked with initials is the job of being president of the USA. While there aren't any presidents who exclusively go by the two initials then a last name format, many are known by all of their initials or have one initial in their name, like JFK, FDR, and George W. and H.W. Bush. While they aren't exactly like the kind of names we were looking into, they're definitely worth highlighting here. Eventually, as more and more people started using their initials as their name, it became apparent that many of these initial names used the letter J in them. While it seems that no hard research has been undertaken on this area of study, I was able to find a selection of online forums and conversations on the matter, in which people hypothesize as to why Jay is so popular, and there seems to be a reoccurring theme in these conversations. You must remember that most of the time, when someone has a J in their name, it usually relates to a full name, unless you're Homer Simpson. Take BJ Novak, who we mentioned at the start of this video. His name is actually Benjamin Joseph Manale Novak. J J. Abrams' name is Jeffrey Jacob Abrams, and C.J. Perry's name is Catherine Joy Perry. So the four J's in these three names all stand for different actual names. This starts to give us an insight as to why J is so commonly seen. There are a huge amount of names that start with the letter J. In fact, one study revealed that J is the letter which most commonly appears at the start of a name in the USA. This variety of names makes it statistically more likely to appear as someone's middle name, like we see with our three examples. Not only are there a ton of names which start with the letter J, but some of the most popular names start with the letter too. While we've already seen the names of Jeffrey, Joseph, Joy and Jacob, there's the ever popular name of John too. John is one of the most consistently popular boys names in the English speaking world. In the USA alone, it was the number one boys name from 1880 when the record began until 1923. And while it has started to decline in popularity, it's only the slightest of declines. In 2021, it was the 27th most popular boys name. That means in around 100 years, it's only dropped 20 or so 
space is. Make no mistake, John is a hugely popular name. And not only is John stupidly popular, but another J name has spawned from John that is crazy popular too. That being Jack. What's particularly fascinating about the name Jack is that it actually started to dip in the mid 20th century in the USA, only for it to burst back into popularity now and is still on the rise. Together with John, Jack is seen by many as perhaps the definitive male name. Due to the huge popularity of these names, I'm sure that many of the people that have J in their initial name have it because it refers to either the name John or Jack. There's also other wildly popular male names starting with J which don't relate to John with the likes of Jake, James and its short form of Jim. Those names primarily apply to men however, and as we've established, these initial nicknames with J's are also found with women too. Jack has found itself at home as a female name in more recent years, but it also has the female form of Jacqueline. Then there's also names like Jane, Josephine, and Joanna, and Jessica to name a few. Names like Josephine and Joanna are the female forms of the male names of Joseph and John. More often than not, you will find it this way around, as opposed to names being female initially and then being adapted into male names. We talked about this sort of stuff in way more detail in a whole video about name switching genders. Whatever the case, this has left the English language with loads of names that start with the letter J, with some of those names being some of the most popular names in the language. So statistically, between the quantity and popularity of J names, it makes all the sense in the world why J would occur so often in initial based nicknames, especially as the latter word in the nicknames. You see a lot more AJs and CJs than you do JAs and JCs it feels like. The latter letter tends to reflect a middle name. Name. And a popular way in which middle names are often chosen is by having them be names of past family members. As a lot of these J names like John and Jane were popular in the past, it also helps explain to us why they might commonly be seen in these initial names. I'm sure many people have a great grandfather John or a great aunt Jane, which led to them having the middle names of John and Jane. Though that's just my own hypothesis. Another theory I read is that some parents might give their kids middle names starting with J because they have more unique first names. So parents want to give a more traditional middle name like John or Jill to use in case they don't want to use their more out there first name. These are just theories I have to stress. As I said, there isn't much research into this, so a lot of the information in this video is coming from my own head or conversations had by others online. What's interesting, however, is that these initial style nicknames seem to be a very English language centric thing. I'm not sure if people from out outside the English speaking world use them. If that isn't the case however, please let me know. The last thing I'm wondering about however is why there are so many names beginning with J in the first place. Why is it this letter out of any of them that has gained so much prominence? Well, it seems to have a lot to do with the history of the letter J itself. J is a really strange letter. It started life as a swash of the letter I, with a swash being a more ornate way of writing a letter. This meant that to begin with, J was used to replicate the I sound, meaning it didn't have much of an identity unto itself. This meant that throughout history, J got used in place of a variety of sounds, from an I-like sound, to a Y-like sound, to an H-like sound, especially in Romance languages like Spanish. To this day, J still makes a soft H-like sound in Spanish, with names like Javier. This led to all manner of names and words, starting with a J once they reached English. And of course there's the whole Jesus thing too. With being the most important figure in the world's most followed religion, and having a name starting with J, it makes sense as to why other names would too. It makes sense as to why other names would too which derive from the name Jesus, like Joshua. What's interesting is that while J is extremely popular at the start of names and words, it's a little harder to find in the middle of words, and is practically non-existent at the end of words, at least in English anyway. Most words with a J in the middle or end we use in English come from other languages, like Raj or pajamas. A non-borrowed word with a J in the middle is enjoy, but that's simply the word joy with the N prefix added to it, meaning to make. This means that the time the letter J is probably most commonly seen at the end of a word in the English language is when it is being used at the end of one of the many different two-letter initial-inspired nicknames.
This video topic was suggested by Dave Bronsima over on my Patreon. Every Wednesday, I put up a video request post over on my Patreon for my awesome patrons to leave video ideas on. I then pick one of those ideas to be turned into a video the following Wednesday. So if you have a great idea for a Name Explain video and wish to enjoy Name Explain videos ad-free as well as get exclusive content, then why not support the channel on Patreon? It takes just $1 a month to help the channel in a huge way and gets you all of these amazing benefits. Visit patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below. Name Explain depends on viewers like yourself supporting the channel financially on Patreon. So a huge thank you to everyone who does. Donating just $1 a month helps the channel amazingly and gets you bonuses including ad-free videos, exclusive content, and the power to request ideas to be made into actual Name Explain videos. $2 a month gets you all that, plus your name here with all these awesome people. Visit patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below to find out how you too can support the channel. Thank you. Thanks for reaching the end of the video. Why not watch another and subscribe to keep up to date on all things Name Explain? You can find myself on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain to talk with myself and other name nerds. All of that will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.